What is up, everybody? Welcome to Let's Look at Crop Rotation. Crop Rotation is a deck building, deck drafting game. We're going to do what we always do and jump at the game and let's speak for itself. Maybe we should take on the tutorial. We'll go to Crop Rotation. This tutorial will go through the basics of the game. For more details, you can always visit the compendium. You've recently bought an automated farming machine and have decided to huge debt to pay off the loan amount is split into eight payments each will be made at the end of the week if you fail to make a payment your farm will be confiscated and you will lose the game you'll first walk through the basics of the ui here denotes the current season and the current day of the week there are four seasons in a year two weeks per season and seven days in a week you can find the amount due by hovering over icons each season has a season effect which i'll show them if you hover over the icons this is your farm. You always start with four plots. This shows you the amount of water you have in your farm. Your farm can hold up to 150 water. This is the active area. This is where you place cards you want to play. This is the storage area where you keep extra cards. You can always sell your unwanted cards here for gold or other parts of the UI that are not covered. We'll go through those. Those that continue the tutorial. At the start of every game, you'll be provided with some tools. You will also be provided with some common crops. Start by choosing our shared crop. Well, we got cabbage, cabbage, or cabbage. Uh, I'll go with cabbage. I'll go with cauliflower. And I'll go with uh, cabbage. Now that the draft is complete, we can see that the cards are automatically added to the active area down here. By having some of the same type of crops in your active area, you'll activate the set bonuses for the specific type of crops. You can hover over them to see their effects. Despite having three vegetables, we only have two levels of the vegetable set bonus because only one of each kind of crop is counted towards a set bonus. In this case, only the first cabbage is counted. That's kind of funny because it's like... um. It's like an auto battle or like the combos. That's that's neat. Now that we have the crops, we can start the day by pressing the blue button. Press the blue button. Cards are played in order that then they're in the active area. Crop cards cost water to play and also require an empty plot on the farm. If either of the criteria is not met, the card is skipped. When a crop card is played, the crop will be planted on a random empty plot. Okay. At the end of the day, crops will mature. Some crops have specific special criteria for maturing. These crops will mature immediately when the criteria are met. Some ability also happens when crops mature. For example, cauliflower gain two value when it's adjacent to wet. <clears throat> Hover over cauliflower to see the effect. I'll mature. Gain two value if adjacent to wet. Does this count as adjacent or does this count as adjacent? Like, you know. By hovering over any crop before you harvest, you'll be able to see what they have contributed to their value. If you just to sweet, click on the green button to harvest all crops. Only the matured crops are harvested the rest day on the farm. So all the crops matured, they will all be harvested. After harvesting, the day ends, a new day begins. If it's the end of the week, you'll need to pay the loan to continue or the farm will be confiscated. At the, end, at the start of every day, if you have fewer than three contracts, you will get to choose a contract. Contracts provide rewards when completed. Some of these rewards are not available elsewhere, like animals and permits. You only have three contracts at once, and once you've accepted it, you cannot cancel it. Pick any of them to continue. Sweet crops, root crops, common crops. What do we get? <clears throat> Tool. Wither a random crop and draft an additional. After a mushroom is played, withers an adjacent crop and replaces it with a mushroom. When a crop withers, crop adjacent to it gain value of the withering crop. Uh, I don't know. Give me a pig. At the start of every day, we also get a new crop card. And like the first three starting choices, we can choose to skip or re-roll these. Skipping gains you gold, which is usually more than the gold you will get from selling the card. Rerolling will cost you gold. The cost will increase after every re-roll. You can see the types of crops you'll be getting by hovering over the re-roll button. Choose any of the cards to continue. Well, we have a vegetable and sweet, and that would be good next to cabbage. So I would say we would pick this. And this is wet, which would be good next to cauliflower i think we're gonna go with the rare here after your drafts complete they will appear here you can also you can quickly see what you need to do to complete the contract you can also right click on them to see the full contract now that we have picked up our third vegetable we can see that the vegetable set bonus is active having crop synergy is one of the ways to improve our farm so now we have this, which is at the end of the day, crops gain one value if water is more than 100. We can also improve our farm by upgrading the individual cards. Because if we upgrade, we're combining two of the same type of the same tier. Dragon crab is awesome. So it's like literally like an auto battler card game. These are the basic concepts you can finish. That's actually pretty cool. Well, let's start off with normal. Start with three sprinklers, lower payment. Yeah, we'll start with normal here in the let's look at. By purchasing CR3000, you are one step closer to achieving your dream of becoming the best automation farmer. CR3000 is the latest and greatest of automated farming technology. Please refer to the instruction manual provided for more information. As per the loan agreement, you are required to repay the loan by the end of the year. We also be collecting weekly payment. Please note that if you fail to pay the weekly amount, the farm and the machine will be confiscated. 
Oh no. Gain 15 water at the start of every day in spring. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we got here. On harvest, gain two times value. Okay. Matures at the start of the day. Okay. On mature, gain two value of next to adjacent. Costs cost one less water. Let's go with the cauliflower. And we did not get any combination for the cauliflower, it would seem. <clears throat> this is sweet, which we know will combo with another. Huh. Just wondering where we want to go here. No vegetables, man. Two of adjacent to a fruit. On adjacent weather gain two value. On mature, add one value to adjacent crops. We'll go with that because it increases the value of the adjacent crops. And there we go. We got another vegetable and it's wet, which is good for the cauliflower. Let's go ahead and start the day. Nice. And then we just harvest. 11 gold easy. Harvest in herbs, harvest in wets. We already have a wet, so let's go with that. So I can do this and look right. Okay, so we've got a little sun face, little sun face. We got one of those as well. We already have the cauliflower, so that's not extremely helpful. Nothing combos with this. So if we're going to take something, we could take this. Okay. Harvest 12 fruits, harvest 12 vegetables. I think we go with vegetables here. Or we can go with commons. That's a free reroll with it at the beginning of the third day. We're not really doing climbers and seeds. Let's do that one. <clears throat> Root herb. We do have some herb or herb, whatever you want to say. I say herb, so back off we do have this as well so this is actually a pretty good bonus for us here um i think we would want to buy another farming plot we have the money for it and we need it for this you can't choose where things are planted so it's just kind of like you try to pick synergies and then you let it go 12 flower crops 12 herb crops gain 10 gold um, let's do this. Oh, it shows us the synergies. Nice. Look at that. I didn't. I. I, I kind of realized that last time. Root wet on harvest gain two times the value. Sure, we'll go with that. So we actually have a synergy here now. Crops cost one less water. Cool. I uh, will need another farming plot. I'm not really sure what these three things do. They just add 15 water every turn, I guess. It's cool. <clears throat> How are we doing here? We already have a cabbage. Uh, we already have a carrot. I guess we could take this. We don't have to keep it. We can take it for now, though. It gives us this bonus. Go. Oh, I didn't add another thing. I'm dumb. Oh, well. Well, we made plenty of money, so that's good. We need the spinach. Let's go ahead and get two more things. Oh, we can unlock one here, too. That's cool. Okay. The planting is just random. And this is the only thing that we would have. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase another one of these. Why not? And we'll need another plot. Maybe we should group up things. So like... You get bonuses if you're adjacent to wet. You get bonuses if you're adjacent to sweet, but you're also wet. You're sweet. Let's 
So what if like we were to do this same row as an herb adjacent to a flower? There's a lot going on. There's too much going on. I just want to keep playing the game. <laughs> I'm sure you can min max how you place these and how they go down and stuff and in orders. But right now we're just seeing what we can do. So we've harvested 12 wet crops. So we got the after a mushroom is played with there's an adjacent crop. OK. OK, do we have a mushroom? I don't think we do. So. If we get a mushroom, we can try to start building towards like a little mushroom build. We also finished this one. Free reroll. Thank you. You're required to pay the loan. Yep, go ahead and do it. Pay it back. We're from the Farmers Association. We've been through the exploitation of the bank. To help you with the loan, we provide you some spare tools every week. Good luck. What'd you give me? Harvest 11 crops. When a vegetable crop matures, it gains three value if adjacent to another vegetable. 13 crop seeds. So if we want to do a mushroom build, we could really, <clears throat> really go with a mushroom build. But we're kind of more leaning towards a vegetable build at the moment, I think. Just get another sprinkler going here. Seed climber. We need to spend, gotta spend money to make money, my friends. We're still at the max money, so I don't think I need to add another one of these. You know what? We're gonna make money. Let's just go ahead and buy those for 10. And then we'll see how life works out here. Maybe that was a bad plan. I mean, we have 41 bucks there. I think it was fine. Fish. And can 10 gold if water is. 100 or more. Thank you. It's what I always wanted in life. I think we're going to take that just in case we start going for a mushroom build, which I mean, it's possible when I mean, we did just get a mushroom, you know, so we might start doing that. Ooh, we need a lot more room here. So the thing is, after a mushroom is played where well, there's an adjacent crop, place it with a new mushroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buy another slot, but it's getting it's getting expensive to be buying slots here. We also can upgrade our cards. Don't forget that too. So we got two mushrooms. We got the wither effect going on. I think we start going maybe for a little bit of a wither effect. I think that would be good plan. We have all these. Let's pick up another mushroom. Go ahead and combine them up. <clears throat> Anyone seeing how much water we have at the end of the day? Oh, over pl plenty over 100 for sure. We should make the harvest here, which is nice. Another mushroom. I think that's a good idea. If Jason to sweet. If we pull you, we're losing our climber bonus. Same with you. Vegetable and wet. If we pull you, we're losing our vegetable and wet bonus. Fruit and sweet. We don't have a fruit bonus, but we do have a sweet bonus going on. But we don't have a we don't really have bitter, so we could pull a fruit for sure. I think we can pull a fruit just fine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four. There's only ten here, so we would need three more if we were gonna really go at it. We're definitely making money off of the uh, the way we're going here. Um, we can upgrade something. 
No empty slots. Go ahead and sell you then. Go ahead and upgrade our spinach because we can. <clears throat> We're gonna make it, so I'm tempted to buy another slot at some point. I'm gonna buy it now and just throw that in there. It's not that we need it, but I mean, might as well get it to work. At the very least. And we're, we make the money back pretty much every turn. Okay, so mushroom here. Jason to sweet. Oh, you do need sweet, actually. Well, just keep harvesting. It's fine. We're going to make the payment. So that's the, that's the main goal at the moment is to make the payment. <clears throat> so which one's this one when a vegetable crop matures against three so we were trying to kind of go for a vegetable mushroomy build at the moment so we're looking for like the wither things and the vegetable things that would actually not be bad and we could do that we don't really play many climbers more room there oh uh, so you would need two red ones probably to make that one into a okay i see i see i just wanted to see how that worked are these things working or do i need to put them somewhere plenty of money harvested pay it back 400, I think we can do that. An additional sprinkler to help us through the summer. Th thank you. That's what I always wanted in life. 14 seed crops. Play the next one crop card. 12 climber crops. We might be able to get there. Okay, thanks. Uh, sure, why not? We'll just take that for now. Oh my lord. <laughs> Thank you for all of the things. It's what I've always wanted in life. Uh, we need to sell something here. Not the vegetable thing. The tin gold is cool, but like, do we really need it? Not, not really, I would say. So I don't have to put these up here, do I? Oh my God, I think I do. This card provides a effect while inactive or storage. Okay, 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 we're good. When active in our storage area. So all these provide effects when in active or storage areas. Great. Fantastic, okay. And we can upgrade a sprinkler. Okay, cool. Okay, I didn't know that. So we can upgrade our sprinklers. So this adds 25 water now. It doesn't double it, so it's not... You don't want to make room just by adding the sprinklers, but... It is effective if you have an extra one like that. <clears throat> cool, okay. Rare sunflower sweet. I think we could take that. We could take a rare for sure, and it withers, so... Withering is not bad. Um. So after six cards are played, it withers. And... I think I have something that says when like, things when a crop weather's all mother and gain two. So the weird thing is, is like you would want it almost one, two, three, four, five, six. You would almost want it last. And then it could buff the two things as well. I know that's expensive and it might come to bite us. But we'll see. Oh wait, no, that's not how that's going to work, actually. It's wrong. Oh, another mushroom. Good. What do we want to take away? I think we can take away the climber just fine. Yeah. 
And now we gain water if crops wither. We still have two extra spots at the moment. We need to focus on making money now for sure. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We can hold that to maybe upgrade it later. I think we get our vegetable thing here probably. That's not bad, but what's this? Oh, it's bitter. One value, all of the crops not bad, uh, but you know, some rice could be good. We are not at max water anymore, so I would almost say we could do this though, and like throw out one of these bad boys, you know. Seventy-one, we'll take it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go for that. Already got the mushroom, but we could make it better. I want to combo these. So now every twenty cards. Let's take that. We can go and combo. Oh, no, we can't. It's actually already level two. Crazy. Um, I cannot spend that money. I, I would, might lose if I spend that money. That would be bad. You have a free reroll. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, come on. All right, go ahead and get rid of the spinach here. I want a double upgrade. I actually think this needs to be moved closer to the front. Is that weird? Because it needs it needs to get the, the bonus. Weathering is good. Sure. Make it room. A peanut. Beautiful. Give me a peanut. All right. So, being four value after 10 cards I played. So, we actually need to put 10 cards in front of this. So,. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it needs to be at least here. And I think that'll actually make it worth more, right? I think so. Yeah, it definitely made it worth more. Yeah, okay. I've been just been playing with it a little bit incorrectly. Pay it back. I don't care about any of these. Skip it. Um, I can take a sprinkler here. No empty slots. No empty slots. Blah, blah, blah. What do we really? Oh, I didn't even notice that I could combo those. I'm dumb. Didn't even. Uh, maybe I just got that. I could have just gotten that. We take that so that we can do this. Read that. Seed root. If I comboed you together and put you out there now as well, 
I mean, now you produce 45 water. Which, I mean, you know, we'll take it. I am filling up stuff, so maybe I should purchase another couple areas. We're not making enough money at the moment, that's for sure. So it's getting a little spooky. I trapped so many cards. <laughs> um, I know we're wasting money here, but I'm trying to trying to make a bigger area so things can spread more and. I made 104 that time, so that's that's decent. That's decent. We need more, but that's decent. Trying to get some upgrades. Upgrade my mushrooms. Yes, please and thank you. Go. Somebody smarter than me at games like this will be able to make crazy combos and do so well, I'm sure. Me, I'm, I'm lucky. We're going to be lucky if I can get through this one. I'm just going to go ahead and sell that, honestly. Go! It's only the fourth season, so this is, uh, this could be rough. We're not on pace. We're not on pace. Maybe that'll help. Combo that up. We're trying to make some money here, but I think summer is where we're gonna run out of time. I think we're gonna be taken out here. Maybe we should be putting more mushrooms out there. You know, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think I can make 450, 442 in two days <laughs> with what we got going on. And no, doesn't look like it. Um. not gonna matter we're gonna be done soon it's not gonna matter none of it matters sell just sell it all all right last day it's not gonna happen but you know rest in peace we must give up our farm. We tried. Definitely go over and wishlist this game if you guys think it was good. Crop rotations. I mean, it's a pretty fun game, honestly. If you're smarter than me at stuff like that, I'm sure you'll have a great time checking it out. You can look at all this stuff too. Look at all the different cards, all the different crop types, all the tools, animals, permits, etc. 
you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. By the way, we are trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year. We have under six months left and under 300 subscribers to go. So hopefully we can make it. If we can't, we can. If we can, that would be awesome. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.